Well, glory be to God. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hello, this is the Parkview Christian Life Center. Word of Exodus Radio Broadcast under the leadership of Pastor Henry L. Babers. We're here to let you know there is power in the name of Jesus. Listen, let us go right into the Word of God. So I'm out walking, and, they, and they're talking, and I heard the conversation. The conversation went like this. You seen what Babers is out there trying to do? Now, first of all, Babers ain't trying to do nothing. Preach now. Baby, got not, a, a baby has too much sense to try to conjure up a vision and then support a vision. The vision must come from God, and he's looking for somebody bold enough to speak what he said. Don't be foolish to try to make something happen yourself. So first of all, you start off wrong. See what baby, no, baby ain't trying to do nothing. So I, I went to walking a little slow so I can hear a little more. <laughs> slow down my walk. Right. It was their conversation, but it was my business. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. God wanted me to hear what people, like, like Jesus said, what, what, what is man saying? God wanted me to hear what the, what the community was saying. And they said, he act like he out in California. No, California too little. We are moving forward in Christ's kingdom. California, California. No, this not act like he in California. California, when God speaks of something, he don't want you comparing it to earthly places. God will give you a vision so big in Haines City, and then the first thing the devil try to do, well, that never happened here. That's right. God always want to start something new. God can get ready to heal your body in a supernatural way without a doctor. He can get ready to supernatural heal you, and if you ain't careful, you'll miss the healing because it never been done that way before with you. Hallelujah. How many of you believe that God can speak one word over your life and supernatural healing can take place. As a matter of fact, I want somebody to say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I believe that you can supernatural heal. So watch it. You got to start speaking those things. Hallelujah, somebody. Like God, I receive. Look, look. It, it is much better to speak like God. Again, do the downsize your faith so folks can be happy. So they kept talking, and I slowed down my walking, and next thing you know, uh, this is the last thing I heard him say. He will never, see, it ain't me again, but they said he will never finish that building. Well, we done finished it in Jesus' name. Done built some more in the back in Jesus' name. About to build some more in Jesus' name. About the one they're going to put the back in the end in Jesus' name. And then the next thing God says, we're going to be ready to do it. Why? You are in the image of God. Ooh. Watch, what they, watch what the disciples saw one day on a boat in the middle of a storm. They watched Jesus get up because he knew he was God. He was in a human body, the Holy Spirit, the God, wearing human flesh, and he knew it. Listen, Jesus was wearing human flesh, but the Spirit of God was in him, and he knew it. I need to say it one more time because somebody will get it. Jesus had on this same flesh that we wear. But what he knew, that, that he has the Spirit of God in him. He knew it. 
So when, by knowing it, watch what he does one night, one day on the stormy sea. He stands up on the bow of the boat. Come on, say, get bold, get bold, say, get bold. Watch this. Jesus stands up. Now watch this. You are in his image. He stands up in the bow of the boat. He looks at the wind blowing and the water raging, and he says, peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and the water got calm, and the disciples began discussing among themselves, what kind of man is this? That he can speak to the wind and the waves, and they obey his voice. You know what Jesus was saying? You don't understand. There are going to be some storms in your life. And the wind going to be beating against you. You got to stand up in the midst of that storm, open up your mouth, and tell the storm, peace, you be still. Oh, I need somebody in here today. Watch it. You, ain't, you are not broke. You just don't have enough faith to speak yet that money is coming to you. Oh, oh, Lord, have mercy. You are, not, look, 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 God wants you blessed. Oh, boy, I want to take this pole, pole in and sling it. Listen, listen, you are not broke. It just not have, have appeared to you yet how God wants you blessed. Once you understand that blessings, blessing glorifies him, yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. you will quit doubting and receive blessings in abundance, not for you first, but that it will glorify God. This is why a lot of people can't get financial blessing. They got their plans. All you thinking about a new house, new car, a little bling bling on you. God ain't thinking about that house and car and bling bling. What God is trying to do is glorify himself by pulling you out of poverty, putting you in prosperity, that you may give him glory. Once you understand, he wants you blessed. We are his children in his image. If a billionaire have a child that has nothing, it make the billionaire look bad. Because the billionaire image is out there begging. Y'all ain't hear me preach. He said, how can I be a billionaire and I got an image, my own son and daughter begging? So the billionaire says, if you just come to yourself, get out the hall pen. You don't have to beg for a ring back on your finger or a robe back on you or shoes back on your feet because when you come back, the first thing that the father said, he said, listen, go kill the fatty cow. The boy don't deserve it. What you mean he don't deserve it? I am who he is, and he is who I am. When I bless him, I'm blessing myself. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Somebody give God a shout, pray. The reason God want to bless you, y'all ready? The reason God want to bless us is not because we deserve it. I wish y'all please get it. Jesus said, listen, if you would ask anything in my name, my Father would give it to you because he wants glory. He's not trying to make us look good, per se. God want to bless you so he look good. Some of y'all are like, Lord Jesus. God has said, don't you know you are my image? Not only do I want you to look good, 
I want you to walk in your identity. You need to look good and you need to walk in your identity. You don't flee from devils. You don't run from demons. You don't shake because of witches and warlock. You are the son of the living God lives inside of you. You don't need a whole seance and 50 people to run out one demon out of your home. You are in the image of God. In his likeness, you tell that devil he can't stay. Man, I feel like preaching up in here. Someone shout, I'm blessed up in here. I am in the image and the likeness of God. Come on, say it with me. Say, you ain't looking at no knockoff brand here, baby. You're looking at the real thing here. Power and the authority. You're looking at somebody in the image of God. I'm not broke because my God shall supply all my needs. I'm not sad because he's my joy. I walk in the peace and authority of God because he is my peace. If you're waiting on, listen, watch this. You want to mess up the devil in 2021 and everybody who walk in his, in his demonic spirit, every time you down, start giving God a praise. He inhabits the praise of the saint. People love the world. Love to see God's people complaining and mumbling. Because it's the opposite of who God is. That's why they love to see you mumber and complain. It is the opposite of what you're supposed to be. I wish, uh, and I mean this, I, I'm saying this for you, but I, I wish it too. I wish a trial might show up. Right. Come, on. Come on, say it again with me. Come on, say it. I wish a trial might show up. Lord, come on. I need somebody on this side. I'm going to warm, y'all going to warm up the whole church. I wish a trial might, might show up. See, y'all ain't talk. Listen, I wish a trial might show up. Come on. We don't start having fun till trials show up. Come on. Amen. Jesus show out in trials. Come on. I wish a trial. Come on. Quit crying by trial. Come on. Say, I wish a trial might show up. Y'all ain't got it yet. Y'all ain't got it yet. I wish a trial might show up. The trying of your faith work at patient. Let patient have a perfect work that you may be entire and wanting nothing. I wish a trial might show up. Until y'all get it. See, I'm bored until a trial show up. I ain't got nothing to do until a trial show up. I'm sitting around like, Lord, when is the next trial? Amen. Paul said we rejoice in tribulation. Oh, y'all, y'all like, no, pastor, don't be preaching that. Well, I need to preach it because a trial coming one way or the other. You might as well get mentally, emotionally ready for the next trial. Tell the trial, come on. I got something to put on you. It is not medicine from the CVS. It's not medicine from Walgreens. I got something on you that the world don't have. It's called the blood. B O W W D B L O O D, the blood. Thank you for tuning in to the Word of Excellence broadcast, which can be heard here daily on Family Radio, 1490 AM, Monday through Friday at 12 noon. Be sure to watch our weekly television broadcast on WMOR Sundays at 5.30 a.m. WACX Super Channel 55, Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. CTN Local, Tuesday 8.30 p.m. And CTN National, Saturday 10 a.m. You're welcome to join us at our live Sunday worship service at 10 a.m. and Wednesday midweek service at 7.30 p.m. 
For more information about obtaining copies of any message, please contact us at 863-422-9222 or visit our website at www.pclctheview.org. Our prayer is that God will continue to richly bless you.